let's see what we can do. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, what's a good train to use? Heck if I know. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Then again, do I ever really know what I'm doing? That train looks cool. Maybe we will use uh, that one. Yeah, let's just. Uh... Ooh, that's. A little loud. Hello, Shrimpy. How's it going? Let's see. What do we got here? We got uh, we got a little 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 green one here. I don't know what this one is. It looks very British, though. You come for krill? Krill is uh, not here at the moment. If you would like to leave a message for krill, please don't do that. All right. Uh, I guess this is some sort of box that goes with it, right? Makes sense. These are what looks to be passenger cars? Sure. Why not have a small passenger train going along here, right? Something like that. That'll look cool. What's better, Machinki or this? I haven't played this enough to know. Um, this one probably has a better editor. And, and you know, the, the power of this one is probably a lot more, but Machinki is a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more uh, probably user-friendly than people who aren't, like, enthusiasts. Um, so if we zoom out here, you can see... I loaded up a pre-map just so I can drive around for a little bit, and then we might work on the editor ourselves. But you can see how big this place is. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna have to give this give this a go, I think. So let's come back in here, and then I believe if I go to cab interior view, right, 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 right. right. Right, right. Is this game free? No, no, no. No, it is not. It's not a free game. Uh, let's see. What is it? Settings? No, I don't believe it's settings. It's the little book. Is it the little book? Quick drive. Realistic mode. Check. Okay. How do I do this again? I feel like I feel like I did this already. Oh, there we go. All right, I, I think I know what. How much is it? Um, it's on sale right now for like seven dollars or so. But um, from from the looks of things, it's very DLC heavy. Not to say that there isn't a really good community constantly making things for it. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Hello, Kitty Claw. How are you? All right, let's see. We have things in Ford. We have some brakes on. Let's just turn off the brakes. Let's go ahead and shovel some coal in there, put some water in there, and uh, change the view for cab interior. Okay. So let's take a look here. Uh, uh, oh boy, you're you're a little ugly there, guy. Looks like we're just going to be free rolling here down this grade of negative two, four, five. We're going to let this thing kind of heat up for a second. I'm doing all right. Let's see. Can we stick our head out the window? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What's this? This is our regulator. We'll give it a little bit of power. Not too much. 
So we're gonna take in some sights here using our steam locomotive. We're going across Trooper Creek Junction 3, it seems. We could probably give it a little bit more juice. Probably gonna increase the coal a little bit and water as well, just to keep that pressure constant. Brake lever, this is something. Can I open up the fire hatch? No, of course I can't. All right, so we're going about 20 miles an hour. A little junction going up. Right here. My signal's yellow, which is fine. Let's honk the horn a little, see ya. Sounds pretty good, right? on over here. Is this a, a knob that I can fiddle with? Not really. There we go. What you do is pull the switches that controls this thing. Yes, I do. It looks like we're, we're picking up uh, quite a lot of speed now going down this slope continually, but we're starting to climb, so we're going to give it some more power increase the uh, temperature a bit. We don't think I need to increase the water amount, so we're okay there. Mm -hmm. What do we got down here? We got, uh, this is the brake. That's the regulator. Looks like we have a passenger car, right? So let's uh, chase you. Oh boy, that's a little loud. That's a nice caboose. We don't really have a caboose. Go into the interior? No, I can't go into the interior of the cars. Uh, let's see. We're, we're losing speed some more, so let's. Let's try and keep that up through here. Maybe we can see about going somewhere more specific than just along this country route. Uh, well, it looks like we have a junction up ahead. Uh, uh, let's see, mining, mining. Should we go check out this mining town? I think so. I think that'll be good. So let's go ahead and switch our signals ahead of time. We're gonna we're gonna try and keep to the left here. And then we'll switch back on to the right. And then uh, keep on keep on keeping on. We are going a little fast. Started going downhill, and I did not know we were. So we're, we're just gonna basically back back it off. Don't don't wanna derail this thing, right? You hope they have brothels? Yeah, well, you know, it's a mining town. You never know if they will. We're carrying a whole bunch of passengers to go see a brothel, apparently. pretty neat. We're going one mile an hour over the speed limit. I think I think the train can handle that. Uh oh, we're going back up. 
increase power. Let's hop back in the cab. Nice uh, kind of riverside with a little bit of valley to either end. Things are looking pretty good. Our incline's kind of tapering off here. Gotta watch our speed. The pressure is maybe a little high. We have a 2% grade for a little while, so we'll just back off the throttle. Let's see. Where's that junction we're supposed to be coming to? Oh, there's the Price Hill Junction. And we'll stay on the left side there. Okay, well, we've got, we got a major speed issue, so we'll put on some brakes. Supposed to be a pretty sharp turn here. That 2% grade really sped us up, didn't it? Alright, look at that. We're going to go ahead and merge back towards the right. There wasn't anywhere to merge to, apparently. Yes, we are moving. We are properly moving. A little bit of an overpass here. Some highway, some country road off to the side. Let's check our map. Looks like there's no junctions for a little bit. Do I play Pokemon Go every day? No. No, I do not. I can confirm that I don't play uh, Pokemon Go every day. What else we got here? We got decouple buttons, we got sanders, we got headlights, yes please. We got more horn. Back off the power, back off the power, back off the power. Back on the power. Oh, I think I just kicked it into full power, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a doozy. Don't tell the press. Well, thank thank goodness for you being here. like dock a little bit, you know? From Back to the Future, driving this giant train down a rail. Make sure you have plenty of water in your boiler, otherwise it'll overheat and explode on you. So we'll start uh, doing that, cruising on up here. Not really the fastest thing. Can it go 88 miles per hour? Well, I don't. I don't have the uh, hover hover components on here. Might be able to if we really push it. Let's see. Full call. Full steam. Let's see what we can do with it. 
I mean, it doesn't help we're going up a two, two and a quarter percent grade, which is uh, pretty steep for, for something like that. And it seems Aoyumi has become a new sponsor. Go ahead and use those emotes to your detriment, probably. Let's just change the uh, junction up ahead. You know what? I might want to stay on the right lane. Yeah, we're going to stay on the right lane. Is this still a game being built? No, no. It's, a, it's an older game. It's an older game. So it's... Um... And, and there's some train models from the community content and stuff. Oh boy, I can, I can hear us kicking up some speed. Let's go full water. I don't know what that's gonna do. Our next signal is red. I can just ignore that, right? Oh my goodness, the cats and gnats in question. Nats and cats. Nats and cats for days. Air Force CEO series worth watching? I think all my series are worth watching, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. You can go ahead and check it out. Uh, we start with the General Aviation Airport and then move our way currently to where we are trying to work on a commercial side. I like it. It's a pretty good game. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're, we're still set up to go to the left here, which will take us straight into that mineral uh, mining town. Also, also, isn't there a new train sim that's being built right now? Um, train sim world, I think, is, is one. If I'm not mistaken. And there is... Let's go over here. I think it's Train Sim World, the one that you're talking about. Oh, nice car, sir. Nice car. Alright, let's see. Any junctions up ahead? It looks like we're going to come up to some. See where these things are aiming, aiming here. Uh, will I be playing Train Sim World? Maybe. If people are interested enough in me playing some train gun games, sure. I don't, I don't see uh, why not. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and just bring her in. I think, right? So we'll go to the right here, stay on this, and then we'll stay left. Straight into here. Into White Oak Junction. Alright, so we should be slowing down naturally. Wow, a 3-4% gradient in this section. Let's, let's go into a chase view. Yeah, I don't want to use the turntable. I, I want to kind of just go straight ahead. What's up, Reggie? How's it going? game specifically or back kind of making more videos again from vacation hold on I don't think we have enough power to get up this hill so let's don't don't let's give it some juice 
First stream with me, besides, well, with Raptor. <laughs> What's that Raptor guy? He's a crazy dino man. I don't like him. Alright, we can back off on the power a little bit. Look at that. It's a lot of weight to be hauling up this little hill. Yeah, and Trans can't wait to get everything down and make your entire map. Yeah, well, I was looking at uh, other people's stuff they've been working on for quite a while, so. It's pretty crazy. Alright, any anyone who would like to stop here to go to work, please feel free to do so. We will put on the brakes. So you may go ahead and get off if this is your stop. then let's see uh hmm where do we want to go next this is kind of a dead end I guess we could go the opposite way that we were this map is so freaking huge There's a, there's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. I think this is definitely more of a freight map than a passenger map. So really I'm probably just using the wrong... Uh... Oh boy. The wrong thing for this. Alright, well I'll tell you what. We want to we wanna turn ourselves around. Hmm. Let's see. Let's uh Let's uh throw her in reverse. Power on, turn off the brake. naturally roll backwards using some gravity here. I think I want to switch that way. Reintroduce some brakes here. What's good? My channel. All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. So we'll couple real quick, real quick, like Raptor is better. <laughs> Shit. I can't really argue with that sentiment. that real quick. So we'll stop here. I didn't have enough momentum. We didn't, we didn't put it back up the hill far enough, did we? No, we didn't. Damn. All right, well, let's just, let's just, uh, move 
train, right? We can we have that capability. I thought. Ah, okay. So it's a click drag thing. So we can just drag that up there. I want to try use the turntable real quick. Stop. Oh boy, camera controls are weird. What if, does it keep its momentum? I have no idea. I'll tell you what, if I act quick, I might be able to, uh, get through there, so, off we go. Shift to forward, shift that over. Get off the brake. Give her, give her a couple taps of, uh, of what I call boiling hot water. And uh, off we go again. So we'll shift to the left and then uh, rotate around. The game's cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to try and make my own stuff. I will say. power just to maintain this onto the uh, turntable. There we go. Looking good. Duh. Check it out, we're, we're rotating. That looks, that looks pretty nice. Now, if I click this again, will it, will it, does it know to stop somewhere? Heck if I know. I don't think the track should be rotating like that. That's a little dangerous, I think. Oh, nope. There we go. All right, so we are shifted over. Get rid of some power. I can pull out again. There we go. Apparently, pressing E is a full break. Fun fact, I didn't think it would be, but it is. The little car driving on the roads there. Get off the accelerator. Who's out there? How's it going, everyone? I hope everyone's uh, day is going well. We're just doing some uh, heavy, heavy train move maneuvers here. Hello, train boy. How are you? going horrible or I'm horrible you like trains what a thought come on kick into gear
There we go. I didn't pull far enough ahead of this junction for it to uh, want me to use it. There we go. Throw it in reverse. Full break again. There we go. Give it, give it, give it some power. You made the flu. I'm sorry to hear that. Nearly broke a four thousand dollar instrument today. Well, at least he did, right? Someone who wanted to break the bassoon of another person. Were you planning to do Stonehearth again? Maybe. Don't go so fast. I'm not going very fast at all. I'm going seven miles an hour. I mean, I have to make it up the hill. All right, looks like we are coupled together. Go ahead and put on the brake, just put it on to forward. We have turned around. Let's see, where where can we go? I guess we could just go, let's just, just check out the next town, right? So we're, we'll go ahead, this this is set. That set, that set, that set to make us go all that way. Um, I just picked a random one. A random, slightly English looking one. Actually, there's nothing really up there. The, the path kind of ends. Okay, so we will go the opposite way, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, let's actually go back to our train. Break off. You're not triggered, just started watching and are very confused. Why are we pick we're we're taking people to work. I'm just trying to mess around with the game a little bit, to be honest. That's uh what we're doing. And then a bit here in a little bit we'll probably switch to the uh, map editor and try and mess around a little bit. I think that will be fun. Transport fever goes the years. Yes. That would explain an English locomotive with a train of American style passenger cars. Yeah. I wouldn't know. You have chocolate milk next to you? Well, gotta get the Chase, chase after those strong bones. As we cruise up the uh, countryside here, and what seems to be bald. Back off the accelerator real quick. If you spill it, he has to cry over it. Oh, you know. It's a race with that car? Well, it's a race it is. 
gotta beat him to the junction, or he's gonna try and beat us to the junction. I can't beat this train. Thomas wins indeed every time. Sure, we're going a little fast, but you know, we don't really expect any major turns or anything except for this one that looks a little tight. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Drift around this turn? What do you think this is? Initial D? What's laggy? The stream or, or the game? The game seems to be running just fine. Hey, look, another car trying to beat us to the junction. Oh man, what a new. Oh, he sir fooled us! Making a right hand turn. Man, he needs to pump the brakes. Our boiler sounds like it's overheating a little. I'm sure it's normal. Hey, the stream was buffering for you for a bit. Are there any passengers on board? Yep. We got some passengers, all right. Uh, this is a very steep, steep grade. Might be going a little fast. One eight one point eight percent decline. Ah, uh, look, look at us go here. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, speed limit's 35, based on the sign we just passed. We're going 56. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, I think this turn's a little tight. Oh yeah, full speed. That is a terrible, terrible place up here. Where are we going? Boy, if I was living in this town and constantly heard this train going by, that would kind of suck. He's a loud one. Where the heck are we even going? Well, up, up, apparently we're uh, going this way. <laughs> this is a robbery. Give us all your memes and your train, train may pass. Was well, that may? Oh, you're. I thought you were talking about train tickets, like a May pass, of, like for the month of May, this is your pass, but no, you're actually threatening to take my train away. Your little brother is beating you, sounds like you're not much of a big brother then. Boy, we are a cruising, aren't we? I 
we found a good a good combination of uh, coal and water. Probably increase the coal a little bit. Oh my god, turtles in chat. Do I have a firearm in the cab? Yes, 12 gauge shot. Don't mind us, we're just your local speeding train um, honking your way through town. And now we got clowns in chat. Right. You know what? Can so so someone just link a, a good old Nat Cat for me? Thanks. Thank you. Have a Godzilla in your cap? Oh, I can't. I can't compete with that. Now can I? Uh oh, we're gonna. Looks like we have a little bit of a bypass kind of track right here. Do I have a locomotive? Uh, no. I just play one on TV. Our crossing is too long, one short, one long whistle. Well, it doesn't help that the game kind of automatically timed out things, so if I just press H, that's one. And if I hold it, And it kind of does that. All right, well, we're through that little industrial area. We can go ahead and crank the speed back up. There is a massive uh, thing over here that we're going to. And then we'll probably switch over to... You have a pair hostage? No. No, no, no. Hey, Jonathan Coleman, how are you? We're going about double the speed limit right now because I'm a rebel. We hijacked this train full of passengers. There's a uh, safe on board. We're trying to get over to the next county, and you know the the sheriffs are behind us, so we gotta have, make some good time. It's funny to teach Uthers about trains. Why? Uthers knows nothing about trains, coasters, rides, theme parks, and anything he does on his YouTube channel. He just knows if things look cool or not. That's about as much as I can get into things. Two, two for four, one long for emergency break, three for assistance with conductor. We're going to, we're going too forward right now. By forward, I mean going down to 2% grade at 45 miles an hour when the speed limit's 20. Did you know one plus one equals 11? Yeah, just get rid of the plus. Oh yes, plenty of trains in chat. In fact, I think you made you forgot a passenger, so you got you got the locomotive in there, and then I you only have four of our passenger cars. I don't know what you did to our fifth one there, Nathaniel, but uh, I would like that one back returned to me. American steam locomotive, yes. Two long, one short, and one long. Yes, that's for crossing, I believe, right? So this, for example, I'd be like. And then off I go. Am I? F no, I'm not. I'm a feeding it crack. Did you know that turtles are taking over the world? I did not. I did not know that piece of uh, magic. Yes, we are officially going to the massive station up uh, here in uh, Thurmond. Looks like we're coming up on uh, 
I think we're on the south entrance into this place. I don't know really which is north, but if we're technically south, I guess this is technically uh, the correct orientation. Guys, we're almost going 80 miles an hour down this thing right now. I'm a little afraid. In fact, we, we're going to have to start putting on some brakes. Yeah, totally going to have to start putting on some brakes. Oh, boy. Don't derail. Oh, boy. You're not sure what it is, what is going on, and you just got here. Well, welcome to uh, Uthris Lucid's control of a train down a mountain simulator 2017. This isn't even the main line. No, it's not. This is uh, a shortcut that we're taking. Break? No. We break for nobody. Sure, the speed limit's 20 through here, and we're going about three times that limit. I think it's okay. I think, yes, that is. Emergency stop. Look at that. We just kind of chilled here and went straight in. Hey, everyone's looking at us like, who the hell just drove that thing here? Right, we are slowing down to my detriment. So we're at uh, Thurman Yard. This is a massive, massive train yard, it seems. Where did I go to school to drive that? Oh, well, you know, here and there. If this crashes through an orphanage. Hey, you added the, the, you're the final wagon, so, you know. Can you crash trains in this game? Yes. They don't quite behave the way you would want, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Why is this making me go that way? Yeah, that's the way I wanted to go anyways. Oh, how massive six tracks. Well, you know, I, considering I know nothing about trains, to me. Well, we're just trying to slowly merge back on the uh, main line uh, to somewhere. I haven't played in years, created a lot of content back when it was new in early 2000s. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like me some content creators. Don't crash trains? That's the only thing I know how to do though. Now see, I'm curious as to why the train is blocking or approaching this junction lever, so therefore I can't switch it. Alright, well, we'll just stay on this side then. Alright, full coal, let's do. We're in front by the name Zeronius. That's a cool name. I literally just got the game, so, uh, but Uther doesn't know what he's doing. He's just driving a little, little train through here. I 
think you're trying to get as many train fans as the RPC fans. I mean, they go hand in hand a little bit. If you like a coaster, it's essentially a train without an engine. The signals tell you what to do. Yes, I know this. You're playing Airport CEO? Oh, that's cool. Can I get the capture? to turn down the sound a little bit. Just a little loud. Train Simulator 2015. Yep. I mean, I pretty much like all those things too, train one. Slow down? Nope. Speed up. We're in a hurry, boys. The faster the better. Pressure's holding steady at 100. That's water. Was it weird that whenever I do this, I actually move my head to the right as well? I'm like, I'm like, uh, look out the window, uh-huh. Come back in. Look out the window, yeah, come on, uh-huh. Don't stop. Look at this river, that's pretty nice looking. Yeah, their water effects could do some work, but well, at least they have waterfalls unlike Planet Coaster, am I right? It's hard to see with the boiler in front of it. Yeah, that's why I'm, I kind of prefer this view right now. Let's take in the landscapes. Need, needs more power, Mr. Scotty? Well, beam me up. Sadly, this spot's very level, so we're not we're not gaining the bonus of going downhill. How far do we get? We got a. Uh... What's over here? So this is where we're going. If the train wants to load. You can hear our train from that far away. Like, can you guys hear it? It's... It, 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 it's that loud. Alright, what's over here? This is where we're going, after all. Don't really look like much now, do it? Hmm. Is there a barrier at the end? I don't know. Japanese speed train in this game? A bullet train? Um, I think so. Here, we'll, just, we'll just let that thing go. Let's see. What do we got? We got... Uh, I have no clue what any of these things are. Not really a modern looking train at all. What about this one? Well, that's a freight train. This window is so tiny. Is there a way to make this thing bigger? Megalabs broke the fastest speed record? Huh.
Tell you what, we'll, we'll just grab something more modern real quick. Then, uh... Oof. That's, uh... Definitely modern. I'm gonna go the other way, though, so let's, uh... The railroad cops are after me? Nah. How do I get this thing to turn around? There we go. And then uh, we'll just add a little little caboose onto it, right? Am I right, guys? I'm right. Modern train confirmed, yes. Hashtag modern train. Oh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted. Get rid of you. Oh, Harry, you made it. You made it this far, Harry. You did, you did good. Yes, because because I so know that. All right, now our new train over here is Dave. Dave? Hello, Dave. <laughs> Wrong railroad. I'm pretty sure this... This, in general, sums up my opinion of that statement. Alright, so we're gonna go forward, we're gonna get that off, and then off we go! Do I like trains? I like them. Okay, this is a little bit nicer. I'm going for max speed. We're gonna crash this train if it kills me. Uh, yep. <sighs> Commander's on deck. Why would I use it for speed? It's pretty much the only one I know of. My train is derailed? Where? these windows. Alright, we're going 70 miles an hour. Give you a shout out. Participate in chat. Sure. Dave the train now boarding the city of Dave. It's a little bumpy of a ride, you know. Hey, how dare you offend them. Is it really top speed to 70? We got the other one to go faster than that. I mean, th this is going 70 on flat ground though, which is actually a lot faster than the other one. The longest stream, steam train. I'm streaming, so I say stream instead of steam. Is being refurbished, that's cool. Yes, one train is literally every ride in Disney World. Oh, here we go. Hitting this at 70. Oh, okay. Okay. It actually handled that just fine. I don't know why people bother with speed limits. What's this look like from the outside? Does it just look ridiculous? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Uh
Will I ever play a train somewhere else? Sure. Why not? I don't have it, but maybe eventually. I I feel like this is this is uh, quite a big area to leave empty all the time. Yep, that train has places to be indeed. Got no time for this. <laughs> Dave. Dave is on a mission here, lad. Okay, I zoomed out too far. Which trains? It's this is new era. Need this many tracks in the Shinky? Yeah, we do. I need, I need to update our tracks and stuff for Mishinki. Alright, well, we'll just uh, speed on through this area too. Why not? Alright, tell you what. It's been about an hour of cruising and trains way too fast than uh, the track was designed to handle, but it seems like it handled it quite well. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll try out the map editor, right? I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing anyways. Am I right there? That is a language called gibberish. I agree, Broberry. Gibberish, indeed. Okay, we won't save this because it is def- Oh my goodness, there's a Papa Palm in chat. Papa Palm, coming to see the trains. I mean, there are scenarios, like for example, we could do this, your task of today is switching operations in the Hilton Yard, and you know, you can actually play around a little bit. So, um, but ba ba Let's go into uh, Crate Route, though. Let's see, let's see what the editor kind of looks like together. Uh, route name. Gibberish. Session name. Another day. And uh, we'll keep, we'll keep uh, Im Imperial, because who <laughs> uses the metric system? Working scale, uh, you know, should we do real, real or HO scale? Well, we'll just keep it real. And, uh, what, you want HO? Okay. There we go. It literally changed nothing to me. All right, so this is the uh, map editor. As you can see, we have a grid. No nat HO. Well, it's already been decided. It has been decided without you. I'm afraid. All right, let's. Uh, what's a good track to use? I don't even know differences on track. Let's see, what's this look like? <laughs> Get that hoe scale, yeah. I like that, that's a pretty standard one. It's literally an inch wide. Well, I mean like in a game, you can't really tell scale besides things next to you, right? Come over here and do that. Uh, no, don't do that. There we go. Do I know the gauges of the track? No, I don't. Uh, please don't speak in tongues. All right, I think it's what shift. You hold shift or something to uh, make it net join up, right? Something like that. 
go ahead and go out uh, how far is each each little section Oh, well, we're in HO scale, so, like, it literally is, uh, give me, like, this is one feet. One foot. And, uh, that's about half a foot. Great. There is standard and narrow gauge. Okay, well, that's good to know. At a bot train, um, we literally have three pieces of track. I don't know what a what a train's gonna do, but uh, we will uh, we'll extend this out. Let's make a little thing, my bobber. Am I right? Right. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go to advance, and I think you need to just do straightening right after each piece. Wherever, where, where straighten tool, straighten track. Bop, bop, bop. All right, and then we can grab this one, y'all. It'll do train things, it will do train things. Go off of that. I guess we can just kind of keep the same blurb. You could say, right? Delete track. There we go. Does, does that look legit? Am I a legit train builder now, guys? Do I know what I'm doing? Oh. <laughs> Not at all. A ten out of ten knowledge. Fuck. Uh, I guess it, is it is this gonna just turn into um when I was making a roller coaster for for Alpine Odyssey again? It's like oh hey your thrust how's it going? Oh okay. Uh you know your lift hill is actually really bad. You should probably not do that. It will do all out what all the train things so well, and it will be great. Uthers makes the best trains, believe me. Oh boy. Straighten, straighten, straighten. Right. Bop, bop. Bop. Rose Uthers live segment. Oh my god. Train Master Uther's PhD. I have a PhD in kicking your ass. Anyone? Dr. Tran? Anyone? Okay. Well, I think I think that is uh, good looking, right? I think I think we succeeded in what we came out to do, boys. We uh, we came, we saw, we became very confused all right so we'll do that and then this and then this to there and then we'll straighten these again right well yes it does look like a three track segment all right that's good. What's the What's the point of what? What's the meaning of life right now, really? All right, let's go over this way. We will do a turn, I guess. Right? Is is that what I'm supposed to be doing? So we'll go straight, 
Let's see how many boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Isn't that a perfect turn? I mean, it's just beautiful. All right, so we'll do the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep. Yep. My train is the best train. You guys don't even know. Nailed it. Bop. What's up with, what, wait, 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 wait. I was up in two different steam engines? And I, I, I'm confused by that statement, I don't know. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Why a 180 degree turn? Why not? Because I want one. I don't know. So we'll do that, and I think, basically I'm trying to get used to uh, the controls more so than anything. This is what, 89, so we gotta go, I guess, 89. Hold on. 89, ninety or something like that, right? So if we start here and then go this way. Oh shoot, I was looking at the degree, not the actual measurement. So this is 2.3 feet. So that needs to be expended out there, right? Not enough interior work? Well, buddy boy, you're in for uh, no surprise because What am I looking for? Insert spline point. Bop. And then we move, right? Something like this over to here. Zero out of ten, nine enough trees. God damn it. Eight eight out of ten, nine enough ejector air time. <laughs> the roof looks like shit. What are you talking about? What? Two gray. Uh, guys. The trolling is real right now. But that's fine, I enjoy it. Okay. So this one's just needs to go to 2.3 as well. We'll insert a spline piece. We'll move the track to about there. Right? Look at that. See, now you guys tell me what is wrong with that turn. I think it looks okay. Park count is too low. Fuck. Fuck you guys. Have some cats. Add some, add some more scenery. I just want to get the track laid out. Uh, I think we can raise a track, right? Adjust spline height, right? Something like that. Can you make a massive downhill and do a speed run on it? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This camera's so weird. I'm so used to playing a coaster, guys. Make a Y at the end of the turn so it's more realistic. Why, why a Y? Why, why? Why, why, why? 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 All right, there we go. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna raise this up a little bit. One or two inches will be fine. Perfect. Think. Yeah. I'm making a roller coaster. Leave me alone, right, guys? Uh, 
supply a gradient. Yeah. Uh, insert spline point. Nah, that's not what I want. Get gradient. Nah. Get track condition. Nah. Uh-huh. Train advanced. Well, let's see. Planet trains, runaway mine train. Yeah, that's essentially what we're going for. Anyone know how to uh, raise the terrain to automatically match the uh, track that we just kind of haphazardly laid down like a whole bunch of noobs? No? Okay. You'd write on that? Yeah, me too. Oh, there we go. Check that out. That's that's a lift hill, lads. All right. Well, usually you build tracks on top of the ground. Improvise and adapt. Yes, he knows what's up. I wouldn't act because no locomotive can climb that thing. Well, you obviously haven't seen our our trains make make the run. Uh, what did I just do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Undo. Undo. Can I undo? I can undo. I can undo everything. Just, let's just, let's just not speak about this again. Set gradient. You know what? This is going to be a uh, two degrees gradient. Okay, it's a 27 degree angle right now. Apply gradient of two degrees on, uh, holy cow. There we go. <laughs> the new Uther 747 diesel electric locomotive 9,999 horsepower with top operating speed of 666. Let's just, uh, we'll bring that down. You know, guys, I think, I think, is this just adjust height? Is there no, like, flatten to train tool? There is, okay. I was real worried about that right there. Death Canyon for trains. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's totally an Uther's build. If that's the case, let's increase the sensitivity because it's a very sensitive, sensitive subject matter for you guys that the slope was apparently too steep. I don't know why you would have thought that. I think my train could have mailed that. Just make it up there just fine. All right, max sensitivity, because this is taking way too long. Max radius. Perfect. Update these. There we go. Look at that. That's a, that's a two degree slope right there. Right? That is... That is uh, apparently, from what I heard, a note of contentious, contention in the community. The degree in, of slope in which a train can actually travel. Uh, 
All right, let's uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. that looks good actually. Yeah, it does. Don't give me that one percent grade bullshit. Mm -mm, not here, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. Right there, buckaroo. Cat percent grade? Oh boy. Matt feeling the Tron theme? What's the Tron theme? Is the fact that we're on a gray grid right now and it's bugging you there, buckaroo? Here, let's, uh, I need, I need a measuring stick. That would be good. Let's get a measuring stick. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's 2.3, isn't it? Fine. Alright, so, 2.3 is... Right there. Insert a spline point, move that over. This to go. Get gradient. No, I don't want a gradient. Apply a track condition. No. All right, got that. Just straighten that out. It will give me a hundred percent grade if I make a vertical drop. We might be able to do that for you. Mount Everest and Uther's Railroad. Oh my goodness, that would that would take forever. All right, so I need to get height, right? That's gradient. Get vertex height. Okay, and then apply vertex height to here. Oh. Okay, that's, that ain't bad, right? Just get rid of those rulers. All right. Progress, you could say. What's the vertex height over here, though? 3.75. So we're only about halfway up to uh, this this height here. This would be cool if you had a bridge going over the yard. We could do that. I mean, in theory, right? So if we go to uh, apply gradient and this two degree slope right and then we uh, add some track and we do another one two three four five six one two three four five six something like that again and then we'll just inset a point for now while we measure this thing out real quick if you're in top-down view, isn't it? All right, so 2.3 feet there. And we move this to uh, match. Cool. Figure eight rail. I guess we could, in theory, do that. We'll straighten that out. Make sure that's straightened. It is. Uh, 
Then, are tunnels a thing? Yes, I saw someone working on a tunnel. Had no clue what they were doing to do it, but uh, I saw it. It's It was a true thing. Trying to match. Are gingers a thing? No. Oh. Maybe. I heard they may exist. So uh, if I search bridge, what's 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 gonna get get us here? Okay, can't attach the verse. Okay. 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 <coughs> that is, this is totally uh, the correct bridge type. Yeah, well, let's get track. So this is the Aran track 01 track. And this is the bridge variant, right? And we will get rid of the gradient part, right? Do something like that. Where do I live? I live in uh, Silver Spring, Maryland. Vertex height for that to 6.31. We're going to apply this vertex height to that side. Why doesn't that have any sort of. Uh... You live in Gaithersburg? We should meet sometime. I am thinking about going down to. Uh... Bush Gardens eventually. I think that would be fun. What time is it? You wanna know what time it is? It's 9.14. Oh my. Let's get the track again. All right, where's where's track type? I thought that's what it is. No, it's this. Vertex height. There we go, and we will. And do that. Come to Iowa. And I don't know what's all in Iowa. So uh, I, I built a, a rail. Um, yeah. Okay. Like, see, look, this this actually has girders and supports. It's definitely way too thick for our train. Track two steel bridge. See, that would have worked just fine. Move track. We're, we're just gonna kind of, yeah. Effective. Totally effective. I, you know, does this, does a train even clear this? For some reason I'm thinking no. I was right in thinking no. Alright, uh, get vertex height for this and we're going to increase that to seven and then we're going to apply now does that fit it does now barely
then if I get the get gradient, what's the gradient turn into? 3.74. That's too much of a gradient. That sound though, I know, right? Here, we'll uh, get rid of that. Where do baby locomotives come from? Well, let me tell you something, buckaroo. Um, I don't know. You gotta go, Chris? Okay, well. Have a happy-go-lucky time. Well, guys, I think I've already went ahead and mastered the creative kit here for this game. Let's, uh, let's try some paint. What can we do with some paint? Repeating textures. Okay. Okay. There. You guys, you, I know some of you were a little tired of the uh, Tron feel. So uh, what do you guys think of the parking lot feel? Let's go full on parking lot. There we go. 10 out of 10. Try placing paint while holding this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It feels like I'm staring at one of those like optical illusions for your eyes. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean that that keeps the variation up, which is uh pretty nice actually. Good job with that. That's a that totally hides the pattern quite nicely. Here we'll turn the scale down. This is a scale or radius radius. Okay. Never mind your back, we'll walk them back. Next time, don't lie. Lying doesn't get you anywhere. All right. There we go. That looks pretty neat. Gonna take some time to practice on the uh turn the radius way down. Do I watch iDubs occasionally? He makes uh some good stuff. Trains are better than people, I disagree. Trains are way better than people. Get it right. Autumn rocks. Do some uh, some rocks, you know, things. Basically, the uh, challenge slowly becomes some sort of weird um, blending. You know, you got to try and find. Basically, you need you need a dirt, a dirt grass to use, a rock, a rock grass to use. A rock dirt to use, a dirt rock to use, and you need to have all these transitional stages with with uh, colors, and and uh, it helps really break up these things. And uh, kind of hide some of the weird texture you might get. Otherwise, I'm just messing around with and trying to find things that I might like for that. You don't know until you try, but I, I do this kind of a lot with Planet Coaster. Um, I suggest people give it a go. Do I play games like Space Engineers, or is that not my type of game? Um, we do Medieval Engineers here lately. 
if you're interested in that. I do play Space Engineers from time to time. I have it in a good long while, though. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can mix in some lighter green. But it is, you know, I am kind of really wish Space Engineers was a bit better. Like, it's really not that well developed in my opinion. I like this. This is pretty nice. It looks like there's uh, kind of things that are more th theme to be used specifically together which is pretty nice you like watch uh, watching Captain Shack Captain Shack's good um, I am a supporter for his his uh, channel um, I've been watching him for a long time What's this look like? Oh my god, repeating textures. But yeah, yeah, Captain Jack, really, really good YouTuber. Very high quality content from him. Can you play Space Engineers? Um, I was planning to maybe start a multiplayer public server for people to join with me. Um, very similar to our Medieval Engineers server. At some point. Use prob probably when we actually finish that Medieval Engineers thing. Okay, this looks a bit like garbage, right? So, let's see. Basically, thinking about it. All right, generally your color palettes and things need to have about three colors. So you need about. Oh my goodness, the way the way this blends together, it's almost like it's it's slightly predetermined, which is a little annoying when they do that. Can I add buildings by the track? In theory, yeah, I could. I'm just testing some things out, but we can look. Uh, let's see, there's trees, but let's look for uh, what? <laughs> oh my. Maybe I shouldn't sink it into the ground. Is there a way to, to adjust scaling of these? Edit properties. No. Look at that. Some little shops and things. There's some Spanish buildings as well. Oh my god, that's huge doesn't really fit aircraft all right we got it we got to get that on the runway why, why are there airport hangers and holy cow massive we love how upon on to see if you could add a section on Native American history that would be great um don't know maybe like we're so far away from um, even getting there that it's it's kind of hard to think about. Derelict workshop. There we go. That's that's more like it. Can I rotate it? Yeah, rotate. Here 
We were just going to say that we needed a plane. Well. Full world recreation coming up from Uthris in some train game. There's actually a, a YouTuber that is doing a train line from, I believe, Pennsylvania all the way to New Jersey. Uh... It's nuts. Office space reference? Um, yes. You need, you need some TPS reports. I got it. Yeah, some, some of those. Maybe one of these. Over here. Sure. It almost feels like, um, almost feels like, uh, I'm playing Men of War a little bit. Kind of has that feeling for me. Mention you in a video tomorrow because it's your birthday. Um, that's tough considering the next video is already recorded and said to be uploaded. So sadly, I don't think I can do that. You live in New Jersey? Well, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What's this? Holy cow. Nah, I mean, like, like... I can I can tell you now, happy birthday and stuff. But uh, if I started doing mentions and things, everyone would want to mention, and then it kind of spirals out of control a little bit, which is uh, not good. What's this? A fenced off railing piece of some kind. Interesting. Now we're just looking at little bits and bobs that we're gonna eventually be using. Is there anything with tanks? Out of curiosity. Tank. Are there any good, like, World War kind of assets? Does anyone know? For example, is there a Sherman at all? No, but there's a factory, a Sherman factory? Factory five. Oh, that's a cool one. A tank engine, a steam locomotive that has no tender. I'm more, I'm more talking like World War II, like Sherman, Fireflies and things, just so that, like, I think it would be cool to make a scenario to basically supply a tank factory with all the raw resources and then haul a bunch of train, like, uh, tanks on flatbeds to uh, the shoreline or something to be loaded up in a boat. Like, so, for example, we'll have a station with, like, uh, that that's accepting iron from, from, from somewhere. Or you actually take it a step back, you know, make a scenario where you take uh, iron to the smeltery, and then you take bars from the smeltery to the assembly plant um, of some kind. Or, no, the parts plant. And they create train parts, and then you take the train parts to the assembly plant, and then you take... Uh, the finished tank to the dock or something like that. I think that would be a, a fun little thing to do. I'm just kind of trying to figure out if there's anything that I can kind of do that with. Like this, for example. This is a 
what is this for? Let's let's take a look at this. It's a col it's a coaling station. Right? Produces every fifteen second one coal. So essentially we have this. You'd have to like take coal and iron, smelt that down. I think that would be cool. Like if I go and search iron, is there anything iron iron? Yeah, this there's a corrugated iron factory. Right? So if we take a look at that uh bound layer. Okay, maybe Is there any of these that are actually a little bit more functional than uh previously let on like that last building was? Okay, maybe maybe iron was too generic. Let's search for Foundry. Hmm. All right, there's a smelting plant. This thing, holy cow. They have big enough objects here. But there's no way for me to really tell you what that thing is. Hmm. School assembly yard, scrap metal processing. A lot of noise coming from this place. Not much movement. Actually, is that actually moving? No. Yes, these these buildings are in the game by default. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'll tell you what, guys. We've been streaming for almost two hours. A little weird to think about that. I am going to go relax. For a little bit since uh, work is kind of killing me I uh, might even go to bed a little early as well um, yeah so thank you guys come for coming out to today's stream I know it's not planet coaster but hey it's whatever if you guys enjoy the stuff feel free to subscribe like you know sponsor the channel if you want if you want more cat emotes it's all about the cats um, so until then I'll see you guys later, and uh, we'll see you in Skyrim's video for tomorrow.